Hi everybody, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. I want to talk to you today about fluorescence. This is a much discussed but little understood aspect of diamond grading and a lot of people seem to be concerned about how will fluorescence affect the look of their diamond and how will fluorescence affect the value of their diamond. So let me try to break this down for you. Fluorescence is an aspect that's that's inherent to the makeup of a given diamond. Sometimes because of the way the crystal is formed, the diamond will fluoresce, it will glow under ultraviolet light, and typically it will glow blue under UV light. Now, as you probably know, UV light is a component of natural light, so that means that some diamonds glow blue under natural light. Fluorescence is graded on a scale of none, faint, medium, strong, or very strong. Those are your five fluorescence grades. So let me try to simplify this as, as much as I can so you can understand where you can tolerate fluorescence and where you can't. So the two grades on either end are pretty simple to deal with. None or faint, pretty much you don't have to worry about it. It either doesn't have any fluorescence at all or it has so little that it's negligible and you can ignore it. Strong or very strong will almost always negatively affect the stone. Negatively affected how? It will affect it by reducing its sparkle, reducing its luster. All that blue light pouring out of the stone can kind of drown out the other colors of the rainbow and make the diamond appear a little bit hazy, milky, dull. Well, if a diamond doesn't sparkle, then what's the point? So we definitely want to avoid diamonds that don't sparkle, and that pretty much always happens with strong or very strong fluorescence. Not always. Every now and then you can find a stone that, that isn't affected, but for the most part, it's a negative uh, consequence for the stone, and that's why you'll often see stones with strong fluorescence trading online at a significant discount to non-fluorescent stones. Those stones are cheap for a reason, guys. Don't be fooled. So now that we've, uh, we've dispensed with the edge cases of none or faint, strong or very strong, let's look at medium fluorescence because that one can be a little bit trickier. Sometimes medium fluorescence can actually be a good thing for a diamond. If a stone is of low color, K, L, M color, that blue light coming out of the stone can counteract some of the yellow in the diamond body and make that diamond appear whiter. So it might, like, might, might make an L color look like a J color. So obviously that's desirable. So in that case, a little bit of fluorescence can be a good thing. On the other hand, in a very high color stone, a DE color, that blue light can produce a little bit of milkiness, so it could be a bad thing. But it doesn't always. You have to look at the stone to see, in this case, is the stone affected by fluorescence or not? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So, to summarize, fluorescence, none or faint, it's fine, go for it. Strong or very strong, don't buy that stone. Definitely don't buy it if you can't see it in person or have an expert evaluate it on your behalf. Medium in a low color can be good. In a high color can be bad or can be no big deal. You have to look at the stone to see or get an expert to assess it for you. I hope you guys found that useful. Again, my name's Dan Moran. I'm the president of Concierge Diamonds. Find us at conciergediamonds.com. Uh, I, I go on Reddit by Diamond Dealer. We're on Instagram and Facebook as Concierge Diamonds, or you can just call us. 213-261-4330. Thanks.